What's up, everybody? So I thought I would do a fun lesson on sweep picking because why not? I think it's cool. Um, and this is not sweep picking from um, a heavy metal perspective. There's so many videos out there of amazing, amazing metal players who will show these amazing sweep picking um, licks. <coughs> and this is not that. This is applying sweet picking to more of a classic rock perspective. And you might say, hey man, you can't sweet pick over classic rock. You can't sweet pick over Southern rock. And I say, well, who said that? Why, why does that have to be? Why, why can't you do that? There's, there's no rule that says you can't do that. So um, this is, you know, and Frank Gambale kind of proved that you can sweet pick over jazz and it sounds fantastic. So why not sweet pick over classic rock or southern rock or something like that that actually is pulling maybe more from a jazz perspective than heavy metal is so um i want to look at the song by the allman brothers in memory of elizabeth reed because it's definitely coming from a jazz perspective and if we look at the chords on that you could an analyze it as a minor nine a minor seven back to a minor nine to D6. Um, or another way to analyze it is um, you could say that it's, oh, it's C major 7, A minor 7, C major 7, B minor 7. Either way you analyze it, we're definitely 100% in the key of A Dorian. Our a minor is our base, is our foundation, and we're in the key of A Dorian. So when you are sweet picking, you can use all of the chords um, of the key of A Dorian to improvise with and to play around with. And you can superimpose those chords, even if they're not in the song, you can superimpose those chords over the top of what we have in the song. So um, here are the chords that we can work with. We can work with a G major, G major seven. <laughs> We can work with A minor or A minor 7, A minor 9. We can work with a B minor thing. We can work with a C major thing. We can work with a D major or D dominant 7 thing. We can work with an E minor. E minor thing. We can work with an F sharp sort of diminished kind of thing. Um, and then we're back to G. So um, those are the chords that we have to work with. And you can take those to paint or superimpose over the top of the chord progression that we have in in memory of Elizabeth Reed. Um, so I just decided, well, I'm going to start with A minor. I'm going to do something that's A minor like. And then I'm going to go to G major. And then I'm going to go to F major. Now, technically, I shouldn't be able to go to F major because in the key of a Dorian, F, it's an F sharp is my scale degree for F. It's not an F, F natural comes from the key of A Aeolian, right? So I shouldn't be able to use that. But I say, you know, no, it's, it's A minor, it's A minor based. I know it's A Dorian, but it's A minor based. So I'm going to use an F note to add a little tension, a little bit of spice, and I think it's okay because you can kind of trick the music listener into thinking that they're hearing A Aeolian or A natural minor, and, and it works. I think it works great. So I'm going to go to an F major thing, uh, then I'm going to go to a C major thing, and then I'm going to go to an E minor thing, and finishing off with A minor. So this is basically what I'm taking to superimpose over the song in, mem in memory of Elizabeth Reed. A minor, G major, F major, C major, E minor, A minor, right? And so this is, um, th then you just take those arpeggios that you want to work with and you string them along and turn them into something or improvise with them. You know, you can take it really slow to start. Right? So that's... 
basically. <laughs> And just kind of play around with that and um, and have fun with it and, and, and paint this different superimposed um, chord progression over the top of the chord progression in the song. And I think that's a great way to approach sweet picking over a song like this, um, where you, you know, it's more, it's more of a jazz theory perspective. You're superimposing things over the top. And I think it's cool. <laughs> Thank you. 